What if I told you that a single clue hidden in a post from Elon Musk might reveal the most important breakthrough in electric vehicle history? At first glance, it looked like nothing more than a passing comment about metals. Musk reposted a statement that copper is better when space is constrained, like in an electric motor, but aluminum is better when weight is constrained. It seemed trivial, almost like a piece of trivia for engineers. But those who paid closer attention realized it was a strategic hint. He wasn't just comparing metals. He was pointing toward a hidden revolution that Tesla had been developing quietly behind closed doors. That clue points to what could be the most radical battery shift since the invention of lithium-ion itself, the Tesla aluminum-ion battery, targeted for 2026. While the rest of the automotive industry remains locked in a frantic race to squeeze a few more drops of performance out of lithium-ion chemistry, Tesla is preparing to leapfrog the entire sector. And this isn't about marginal gains. It's about shattering the bottlenecks that have defined EV performance for three decades, discharge capability, thermal control, and structural integration. The timing isn't accidental. The electric vehicle industry has been built on fragile foundations. Today, China controls over 75% of all lithium-ion battery manufacturing and dominates critical material processing for cobalt, graphite, and lithium hydroxide. Over 50% of the world's cobalt refining takes place in Chinese-owned facilities. More than 80% of natural graphite for anodes is refined in China. And almost all low-cost lithium hydroxide conversion plants sit within Beijing's reach. The world's dependence is staggering. In 2024, that dependency hit Tesla directly. China introduced new export restrictions on graphite, the core material for anodes. Overnight, Tesla was forced to reroute more than $3.8 billion worth of materials. Costs rose, production slowed, and the message was unmistakable, whoever controls the supply chain controls the future. Beijing's decades-long industrial strategy, massive investments in mining infrastructure, refining, and manufacturing scale, had given it a stranglehold on global electrification. Western automakers could build cars, but without China's blessing, they couldn't build batteries. And then comes aluminum. Unlike lithium or cobalt, aluminum doesn't come from rare deposits buried under political minefields. It's abundant, making up about 8% of the Earth's crust, the most common metal on the planet. Compare that to lithium, just 0.002% of Earth's crust, concentrated in South America's salt flats and Australian mines. Aluminum isn't just abundant. It's local. It's refined in the US, Canada, and Australia with no geopolitical strings attached. Tesla already smelts aluminum in-house at Giga Texas, using smelting units that were expanded again in 2025. And through partnerships with Alcoa and Rio Tinto, Tesla is even testing carbon-neutral Ellis smelters, turning what was once an energy-intensive process into a sustainable one. This isn't just supply chain flexibility. It's sovereignty. By bringing smelting inside their walls, Tesla gains not just security but total control over purity levels, something essential for high-performance aluminum-ion chemistry. Even trace impurities can cripple a battery cell. Musk's strategy ensures Tesla isn't at the mercy of commodity markets. Instead, it designs, smelts, and builds its own future, from raw rock to finished vehicle. But why does aluminum matter for the battery itself? To answer that, you have to understand the hidden weakness of lithium-ion. On paper, lithium-ion looks incredible. High energy density, decent cycle life, fast charging potential. But ask any EV driver, and they'll tell you the truth. Charging fast doesn't mean the car feels powerful. Acceleration often flattens out with passengers or cargo. Merging onto highways feels less responsive than expected. And towing? It drains the battery far faster than advertised. The problem isn't charging. It's discharge. Lithium ion faces a physics limitation, ions move slowly through the electrolyte. Push them too hard, and the system overheats, voltage sags, and management software kicks into throttle performance. That's why even the mighty Tesla Model S Plaid, rated at over 1000 horsepower, 
can only deliver its full punch for short bursts before thermal limits rein it back. It's not bad software. It's a bottleneck baked into the chemistry. Tesla's aluminum ion design flips that weakness into its greatest strength. Instead of struggling under heavy load, it thrives. The 2026 aluminum ion cell uses a tri-channel aluminum flow matrix that creates multiple pathways for ions to move, like a six-lane highway compared to lithium's single-lane road. This drastically reduces resistance, allowing enormous currents to flow without collapse. Add to that a carbon-integrated anode mesh capable of handling up to 1,000 amps of instantaneous discharge, and new firmware that actively modulates bursts of power, and you have something lithium simply cannot do, sustained raw energy on demand. The numbers don't just impress, they devastate. Tesla's internal data shows a 15C continuous discharge rate, delivering up to 375 watts per cell, more than 10 times higher than many current compact EV lithium cells. Peak bursts can reach 60C, translating to over 1,500 amps at pack level for several seconds without degradation. And where lithium packs suffer from sagging voltage under load, Tesla's aluminum ion system loses less than 4% voltage even at 90% output. The Real World Translation A Model 2 prototype fitted with aluminum ion batteries hit 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds using a single rear motor. It maintained 98% torque output during a 12-minute uphill climb with a full load of passengers and cargo. While towing a 2,000-pound trailer on a 5% incline at 65 miles per hour, discharge remained stable at 1,200 amps. And after the entire climb, pack temperature rose by only 11 degrees Celsius. No smoke. No sag. Just relentless, sustained performance. This breakthrough didn't appear out of nowhere. Tesla has been laying the groundwork for years. As far back as 2021, the company quietly filed patents under the name Integrated Energy Storage System. At the time, most analysts dismissed it as an incremental design tweak. But what it actually described was a revolution, a battery that isn't simply installed in a car. A battery that is the car. Here's how it works. Instead of building cells into modules, modules into packs, and packs into chassis, Tesla uses high-pressure aluminum casting, the same gigapress technology that molds the rear frame of the Model Y, to mold the battery structure directly into the car's body. Structural components and electrochemical components merge into one. The aluminum that makes up the chassis is also the aluminum that drives ion flow. No bolts. No brackets. No miles of wiring. Just a unified casting that is simultaneously machine and energy source. The implications are staggering. Removing hundreds of individual components cuts assembly time by 72%. Production costs drop by more than $1,600 per vehicle, not just for materials but labor, robotics, and factory space. And the integration makes Tesla's designs nearly impossible to copy without billions in new infrastructure. Competitors can't just buy aluminum ion cells and plug them into existing cars. They would need to re-engineer factories, smelting lines, and entire production philosophies. This is why Musk has been quiet. The aluminum ion battery isn't just a technical milestone. It's a geopolitical weapon. It frees Tesla from China's supply dominance, secures American manufacturing sovereignty, and erects a barrier that few competitors will ever cross. When battery and chassis fuse into one, when smelting and casting happen under one roof, Tesla controls everything, from raw earth to finished car. And that's the real story here. The aluminum ion cell isn't just about faster acceleration or cheaper materials. It's about who will control the future of energy and transportation. In the 20th century, the nations that controlled oil ruled the world economy. In the 21st, it will be those who control batteries. And Musk has just taken one step closer to ensuring that future doesn't belong to Beijing, but to Tesla. Because at the end of the day, the battery isn't just power. It's sovereignty. And Elon Musk is betting that aluminum, the most ordinary metal on earth, will rewrite the balance of power for decades to come.